Over the past eight years, Chief Keef has held his place in hip hop as one of this generation's most remarkable artists. From the jump, most of what attracted people to Sosa was his unmistakable style of rapping that was hard to miss and ranges from older cuts like the melodic Sitko. I smoke and all the gas like said go To darker, more recent tracks like 2018's Rawlings Hey Bali Hey Bali Hey Pass me the rock. Genius covered Chief Keef's influence back in 2018, charting the impact his music had on today's generation of rappers, including everyone from Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert to YBN Corday and Almighty J. Everybody remembers where they were when the first time they heard them. Don't like. Everybody remember that shit. A fuck, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. A snitch, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. A bitch, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. But besides his catchy songs and his prolific influence, we wanted to break down Chief Keef's sound and pinpoint what exactly makes him and his rap so unique. One of the things that might be appealing to people about Chief Keef is maybe like his voice as an instrument. That's Dr. A.D. Carson, an assistant professor of hip hop at the University of Virginia, who said part of what makes Chief Keef so unique just comes naturally. You think about, say, like like what, what trap music might do for us. So it invites us to listen for something that is incredibly predictable. Chief Keef is actually doing that incredibly predictable thing with his voice. The cadence on Chief Keef's songs can range from precise clipped verses to the occasional catchy melody, like on My Baby. What you gonna let me do, baby? I'm smoking on this too, baby. There is no one like you, baby. My baby is the dog. You know, if we imagine like a beat, like a grid, and then rappers are trying to snap the the rhymes or like the the flow to that grid chief keith finds these ways to sort of be off of that grid just a bit what stood out to dr carson is sosa's versatility along with his darker drill sound and his ability to keep fans guessing on 2014's finito a crowd favorite at parties and a universal hype anthem dr carson notes that what's so attractive about the track is how much the song switches over the course of three and a half minutes so like the way that he delivers the line cadence wise it's it's uh consistent but then the way that he, uh, the energy that he puts into delivering those particular lines, he, he puts a different kind of energy into it. It's a softer delivery of a consistent flow. Of course, Sosa's style of rap is reflective of his hometown of Chicago, the city that pioneered drill music. We used to call drill music is like when you be, you know, and you into it, mm -hmm. and you know, and there's rowdiness going on. Take a two go blunt, then I burned it. Motherfucker, I spend this money? Cause I earned it, nigga. As a drill rapper, Chief Keef's intonation on the track brought him plenty of attention, with many people, including Sosa himself, claiming that he created mumble rap. I'd be like, oh, I mean, they trying to sound like me or something. Yeah. It's like, it ain't even that big of a deal, because if that's what they trying to do, then yeah. it ain't and like nobody ain't gonna know. Everybody gonna just, know. Yeah. So it's like, it ain't that big of a deal, though. That's man. a fact. Even they know, too. I really was influenced by that nigga, uh, Chief Keef. You don't have to be lyrical anymore to be like uh, somebody a factor is your energy. They like so see you so mean to me. You don't know what you mean to me. Every since you came to game, you been fucking up the scenery. Between these labels as a drill rapper and a mumble rapper, Chief Keef was able to shape and reshape his sound that helped craft his legacy as he experimented sonically. Chief Keef being someone who's well known for not just this particular flow, engaging in content that other rappers have engaged with, but by different means, then other people find ways to take that innovation and then move it a bit forward. You got some money for me? Check it out. I'm fancy, you know I had to bring the nellies out. Chief Keef has dropped innumerable albums, mixtapes, and Lucy's, with each project more singular than the next, practically making him an OG at just 24 years old. A lot of people there say, no, I wouldn't consider myself as OG, but... You, you definitely have the past to say I that. I do. 100%. I do. And according to Dr. Carson, Chief Keef doing his own thing is exactly why people love Sosa. People love Chief Keef for the same reasons that people have uh, continued to love uh, particular artists who make rap music, folks who continue to do what they're doing despite the world attempting to tell them that they don't fit in it. I'm Tia with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music.